Hello and welcome. I'm John RMS, aka Ace Bullion, and today I have another coin review. These coins were sent in by the Silver Trader, so please be sure to check out his description down below. You can find a link to the Precious Metal Forum, you can find a link to the Silver Trader, you can even find a link to you know, my own website, Ace Bullion. So there you go. Uh, now, today we're going to be uh, looking at a, another coin which is, well, <laughs> A bit fishy, but boom, boom. Okay, bad pun. No, actually, it's a really cool coin, um, and uh, I'm gonna dive into it with a complete unbiased opinion. So, thank you for watching. Let's uh, crack on. Now, I reviewed this Hahe fish, uh, which is the flying fish, a while back, and today we're gonna be looking at New Zealand Mint's latest fish, the porcupine. Uh, otherwise known as the blowfish. Yes, they're both one in the same. So it's just another name for it, uh, and it is the same fish. Yes. So um, let's crack on. I guess we're going to look at the front of the coin first, and uh, <clears throat> here we go. Now this one has, ha uh, has a denomination, as you can see down below, of five dollars, uh, one ounce, three nines silver, and it has, it features Queen Elizabeth II. Uh, the issuing country is Tokonua, and it's the 2020. Now, this is one of the interesting um, facts on this coin, um, before I get into any of the other details, but, um, and this the reason why I have the Hahe fish here, is that both of these uh, coins were issued and minted by the same uh, mint, New Zealand mint, and uh, if we take a look here, let's have a look down at what I call the Queen's handbag. Nothing. Now, I'm not sure where the quality is being slipped up. Let me just hold the two hands, sorry. Um, where the quality is being slipped up or something, but there's not even an imprint. Now, if we take a look at the Hahe fish, just to verify it, okay. And we take a look. Now, this, is, uh, this was issued last year in 2020. We're going to see... On the Queen's handbag, we're going to see the cross, and we're going to see to whoops, Tokoloa Te Tau. I, I probably butchered that. In fact, I know I have, so there you go. Uh, again, $5, three nines. Now, they seem to miss out this bit entirely. So this cross and this bottom inscription, and I find that a bit odd. Um, but also, if you take a look at the Queen to the other Queen, there's actually two different distinct patterns. This one here has a really weird matted dye-like uh, coating and finish, um, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Uh, again, I featured, you know, some of these problems before in, you know, a previous video. I'll, uh, I'll try to drop a link there. It's where I actually cut up a coin um, and uh, just to prove it was real, of course, and uh, it, to go on to a bunch of stuff. But no, this is 100% genuine. I find it really fascinating that there's this error or, you know, mistake. This isn't a one-off. These are happening with all of them. Um, if you do have one, I would love to know if actually you do have the cross and the queen is shiny. Now, it does appear, um, and it's something I, I kind of want to cut up and look at, almost as if, or just around the queen's ear and stuff, that there is that shiny uh, gloss finish you could just if you see it right here in the earrings almost looks like it um and it just looks like they didn't do a thorough job with the cleaning process and uh i'm not quite sure what's going on i will be emailing the new zealand mint and finding out a bit more but everything else on the coin seems to be finished to a high standard so that's a bit suspect now the coin has a reeded edge and here we go again. Now we have the porcupine fish, uh, AKA the blowfish. Um, and, you know, I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. The to yeah, T-A-U-T-U. -U. Um, now, I love the design. I love everything about it. And in fact, as I said, similar, you'll see the design is, you know, again, very out there and it stands out. Um, now, these have a mintage, by the way, of 10,000. So it is a, I've, Pretty dang collectible coin, but what have they done? Again, this is the finishing, you know, error message, I guess. They seem to have the fish covered in this matted coat, and the background is standing out more than the fish, which is really sad because 
The fish itself is really, really detailed. Let's have a look at this. Do you see what I mean? You can see the, you know, the spikes. It actually gives you the impression that, you know, if you do touch it, you're going to be harmed. Um, and, you know, the fins, uh, the dorsal fin, everything, uh, just everything about this is incredibly uh, detailed. But with this coating on it, it's it plays second fiddle. And I'm not quite sure what is going on. Is it quality control? Is it an error? You know, if they would have done it like they've done the Hahe fish, which I'm going to be showing you again, just so you can see, you can see how that you get the high gloss, you get all the patterns, everything is, it is busy, but you know, again, um, it's, you focus on the fish, despite the design being incredibly out there. And, you know, I do like this a lot. And the sad thing is, I do like the blowfish or porcupine fish. Um, and I just wish that they would have done something a bit better. Uh, this might have to be an experiment. I might have to buy this coin myself and not send it back to see if I could A, ruin it, kind of. Um, because once I touch it, it's going to be ruined. But see if I can get rid of this coating on the coin and also the coating on the queen's face without distorting anything else. Uh, and I'm just curious to see whether or not, oh, I think that, yeah, I think this would actually be stamped. Um, I don't think that this is covering or masking anything, although in some light I can kind of see a bit of a pattern. Let's see if I can just make it out. Perhaps it's just wishful thinking. Um, no, I can somewhat see the inscription down below. I wonder if you can. Hold on. So I think that this coating is masking everything that it should be actually portraying. Um, and uh, that's incredibly odd and incredibly bizarre because just like the elephant that I had, as I said, you know, displayed, this is really, really bizarre. Um, and it's not something that we usually find especially from the New Zealand Mint, um, you know, I would expect to see it milking or, you know, something. I mean, because uh, they do have that, you know, those issues. Uh, nowhere near as bad as some other mints. Uh, Royal Mint, cough, cough. Uh, Canadian Mint, cough. Um, but yeah, you get my understanding with it where it's something's wrong with it. So would I buy one of these personally? Absolutely. With the low mintage 10,000, yeah, bring it on. Am I probably going to destroy this coin as in see if I can clean up this? Hmm. I'll let you guys decide if I should do so or not because it's something that I'm curious to see if I can actually clean this up and get this to shine in the high gloss that it really should be. Um, now, you know, I have no problems. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, I'll melt it down. Um, so there's no loss for me, and then there'll only be 999,000 left, as opposed to 10,000 minted. Well, there the would have been 10,000 minted, but of course I'm destroying one. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think about this. Uh, do you think that it's an error? Especially with, you know, the queen is incredibly covered. You could just about make out some of where it should be. Um, you know, shiny and glossy. And again, I'm going to zoom right into her earring, for instance. This is a really clear indication here. And if I get it with the right light, there you go. You can see, obviously, the silver and the silver in her hair, where it's coming through. So I'm just wondering if I clean that up, if that would actually bring it to the same standards that, let's say, that one is. And I'm wondering if I can actually see and find the inscription and the cross on the bag. That'll be something of an interest. So let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts and opinions are. Um, you know, again, this is another night and day coin. Um, you know, okay, the two different years, I get it, but they're clearly the same stamp. That was used uh unlike you know the previous one that i featured and i'm wondering hmm what to do with this so 
Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great weekend and stay tuned. I have some really cracking coins to uh, review next week. Uh, again, all in from Silver Trader. So I look forward to sharing those with you. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm looking forward to sharing uh, my wallet with Silver Trader, but that's what's going to have to happen again. Then so be it. It's, uh, it's one of those things because I rather find out and know for sure if uh, something is fishy. No pun intended. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great weekend. Bye for now.